Hey everybody, Josh from Populi here. We all need time to ourselves and that's why Populi lets you control privacy settings. We have a couple ways that any individual user can manage privacy in Populi and then a broader administrative setting. Just to clarify, we will in the video refer to information as private and public. When we say public, what we mean is not public, but available to other users on your instance of Populi. And let's talk about what we mean by setting something to private in Populi. It doesn't mean that no one can see the data. Obviously, staff users at the school will be able to see the information. But if you're a student and you set something to private, other students won't be able to see it. If you think about days of yore, private information is like something stored in a filing cabinet rather than published in the directory. A school staff could access your file in a filing cabinet even if you're not in the directory. Student information set to private will not be visible to other students, but anyone with the staff, faculty, or advisor role will still see private information. And to clarify, advisors only see private information on students they are set to advise. On the other hand, and this is particularly notable for faculty, faculty, staff, and advisors who set their information to private, students then will not be able to see that information, which could mean that they're not able to contact you. When a profile is set to private, it won't show up as a result in the search up here with the student role. And then the same thing on the directory. I'll search for a private profile as a user with a staff role. Okay, let's look at actually setting a profile to private. We'll see how that's done for your own profile and then also how admins set other profiles to private. If you're logged into Populi, you'll click on your profile picture or initials and then click settings. Then under general, you'll find the field for make my profile private and set that to yes. While we're here, I'll point out that we also have a field for make my birthday private. If you set your profile to private, this will automatically be set to yes. However, if you just want your birthday hidden, you can manage that independently. Once you've made your selection, click save settings. Back on your profile, you'll see a lock next to your name. Your profile is now private. One thing to pay attention to here, particularly for faculty, you can have a private profile but still leave individual pieces of information public. So maybe you want students to see your phone number or email address on your courses, but not have access to your profile. You can manage that independently. Which brings us to setting individual fields to private. On your profile under info in the contact info sill for any field, you can click three stack dots and choose make private. Private fields are indicated by the lock icon. You can set your private fields back to public by clicking the three stack dots and choosing make public. That's managing privacy settings for yourself. The staff role can manage the same settings for others. I'm using a profile with a staff role and I can change this profile to private by going to the profile and on the far right, clicking the three stack dots and selecting make profile private. But once the profile has been set to private, staff users can't set it back to public themselves. If I wanna make the profile public again, I'll have to switch to a profile with the academic admin role, the only role that can make that change. One last thing, Populi account admins, PAAs, can change a setting that will make new contact information private by default. So if your organization wants to default to private contact information, the PAA can do that by clicking on their profile picture or initials, clicking account and settings, under account, clicking account settings, clicking security, locating the make new contact information private by default field, setting that to yes, and then saving settings. Any fields already created when you flip that switch will remain public. Only new fields created after will be affected by the change. Also, users will still be able to manage the privacy of those fields normally once they're created. Phew, privacy settings sure do take it out of me. 
I'm more tired than a mule in a one mule town that's very hilly. Also, if you want to explore more training options, you should be aware of our focus sessions. These are one hour long training sessions that take place over Zoom. You and several other Populi users meet up with a Populi support rep, get a little training, and then get to ask questions. We have a rotating sequence of topics, so if you miss a session on something like admissions or billing, don't worry, it'll be rolling back around. You can get to the focus sessions by going to the knowledge base, clicking on release notes and announcements, and then clicking into focus sessions. We've also popped a link directly to the focus sessions down in the description. I've been Josh for Populi. You've been great. Thanks for watching.